When location is a critical component of your analysis, geomaps can be very helpful. A geomap overlays data on a geographic map. Four different types of geomaps can be created in visual analytics, coordinate, region, bubble, and contour. Coordinate maps, also known as dot distribution maps or dot density maps, help with detecting spatial patterns and understanding the distribution of data over a geographic region. These maps use clustered points to help reveal patterns. Region maps, also known as chloropleth maps, use colors to show variations by location. With region maps, larger regions seem more emphasized than smaller ones, which can skew your analysis. Geo-region or coordinate maps should be used only when there is an even distribution of values within each region. Alternatively, geo-bubble maps can be used even when the data is not evenly distributed. This is because bubble maps can compare two measures. One is used for the size of the bubble, and one is used for the color of the bubble. Bubble maps also have another advantage over region maps. The bubble size helps with comparing regions without the size of the region itself causing distortions. Sometimes, however, the size of the bubble can overlap with other bubbles, making the chart difficult to read. Contour maps display shaded regions over a geographic region. These are best used to show very dense data. Geomaps are a great way to show how location is important to your analysis. You can use geomaps to show distribution, density, cluster, proximity, and performance. In this example, the geomap shows the distribution of commuting workers in Europe. The areas with larger bubbles typically spend more time commuting than those with smaller bubbles. The bubbles are also colored to show the amount of congestion in each area, where green is low and red is high. Notice how larger bubbles often appear red, meaning there is high congestion and more time spent commuting, and smaller bubbles often appear green, meaning there is low congestion and less time spent commuting. In the next example, the geomap shows the density of airport locations worldwide. In this case, we may not be interested in each point individually, but in drawing conclusions on where most bubbles are grouped. For example, if you look at locations in Asia and Australia, you can see that many airports tend to be closer to the coast. Perhaps this is where much of the population lives in these continents. Both of these geomaps display individual markers for workers and airports respectively. We can cluster adjacent markers together to better locate the areas with a high concentration of markers. For example, this geomap shows the clusters of customers in Mexico. We can easily see the southern tip of Mexico seems to have more customers than the rest of the country. In addition, we can use geomaps to show proximity. In this example, the geomap shows all customers located within 10 miles of the Louvre in Paris. This can be useful for identifying which customers are within a short drive of my current location. Lastly, this geomap shows performance for basketball. Specifically, it's looking at shots made during a game. Each bubble represents a shot made, and the color of the bubble represents the distance from the basket. This example is a special object made to look like a map. It uses a scatter plot overlaid on an image to show a map-like view of a basketball court.